In today's episode, I don't have time to fix my problems. Don't call my personal number on vacation. I need you to connect me to Google Chrome. Customer complaint about network speed. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. I don't have time to fix my problems. Hello everyone, first post, please, be nice. Working at International Airport you meet a lot of different people, even more working for L1 IT support from check-in personnel and plane engineers to highest management. And because COVID happened, so are nightmare VPNs and home offices. Got a call from a user my VPN is not working, generic error code cannot connect to VPN, connection failed. It worked in morning, now, lunchtime, it's not. She also claimed, it's not the first time. I do a general user check, and I look into ticket history nothing, but looking at Active Directory the login is locked. Strange but happens, even more during home office. Unlocked, she connected, everything seemed fine. 15 minutes later, same user, same problem, but new information she couldn't access internal files so she restarted her computer and surprise surprise, it locked her out again. First I suspected network issues but the picture got clearer. As her attitude got worse and worse. IT played by me, AU angry user. AU, so tell me, how should I work now? IT, work as normal, your profile is unlocked. Only other thing I can do is delete your saved passwords, which may cause this locking. I can remote to you and do it, but it will take some time and may force you to log into certain places again, which can slow you down. If you are busy now, you can call us again when your shift is ending so. AU, I have no shift end, I work 24-7, I am a spokesperson and need the connection all the time. So I don't know when to let you know. IT, well, when you have your current work done or. AU, my work is never done, but okay. At this point, I am trying to explain what is happening, why it's happening, and what I can do keep unlocking which is faster, or remote in, and try to fix it. AU, I don't have time to fix these technical issues, and it keeps me away from work. I have a meeting in an hour, I'm home at home office with COVID positive kid, and I need to make him lunch. So I don't know, I don't have four arms. I am losing patience, I take the initiative and decide to just fix it to get rid of her. She is passive aggressive and I am happy to get an IP from her. When I'm finally connected there, she now tells me that even Outlook was asking for her login details. That would be helpful 20 minutes ago. Control panel credential manager wipe all that looks suspicious PC reset, done in under 3 minutes. When I'm done and just double checking, she does 180 and starts to act normal. Well, you can't fool me. Moral of my story? Tell all that's been happening that is not standard, act human to people that wants to help you, and we will do the best we can to fix your issue. Thanks for reading. Don't call my personal number on vacation. I work in IT at a company that is vaguely in the med slash pharma industry. We're only a department of four. I was originally hired to be temporary coverage for paternity leave, but they offered me a full-time position they were adding. At that point, I got a company-issued cell phone. Prior to this, I'd used my personal number for the few times I'd needed to make a call. Unfortunately, one of those people was Technical Trainer she used to be a warehouse supervisor but rumor is they couldn't fire her so when the other position came up, they welcomed it to get her out of their department. My first week, she called, instead of using our ticket system, to complain to my co-worker, Lazy IT, that one of the printers didn't have a label tag on it with the name. Most of the other ones did, but occasionally they fall off. Also she isn't sure it's working. Lazy IT sent me to go figure it out because he does nothing that requires him to leave his desk. I had to find it by pinging methodically, our printer naming convention is pretty straightforward so I knew it had to be one of a few numbers, and matching the IP listed on the printer's screen. We have a label maker, but had run out of the print roll, 
and were waiting on the next shipment of office supplies, so I called technical trainer to give her the name and let her know I'd make a label as soon as I could. She thanked me and that was that, or so I thought. Little did I know, she'd saved my phone number. Ugh. Flash forward a few months, I was in the weird limbo of my contract was extended because the position doesn't open until the new year for budget reasons. Because I'm a temp, I'm not allowed to be on the employee directory even though I now have a company phone number. Rules are dumb, but I don't care enough to argue. It's tied to my AD account so people can look it up in Outlook. I had already booked a vacation that was after the end date on my contract. When my boss extended it, he gave me the time off without question, even though I don't get PTO. I set my out-of-office message on Outlook slash Teams with my dates off and said to contact Lazy IT or Senior IT. I left my laptop and company phone at home. I'm hourly so no expectation of work on personal time. In Colorado, I hiked Quandary Peak with my sister. She runs marathons. I don't. Thought I was going to die. Anyway, unsurprisingly, there was poor cell service at 14, 000 plus foot when we got back to the cabin, I collapsed onto the floor and plugged my phone into charge. I saw the notification that I had a voicemail. I clicked on it. Hi, this is technical trainer, I dash. Deleted without listening to the rest of it. When I got back in town, I checked and had no emails or IMs from her. Checked her ticket history and there were no new entries. She didn't call lazy IT or senior IT, so it couldn't have been that important. I mentioned all this to my boss. His response, I would block her number if it were me. Things like this probably explain all his feuds with so many people in other departments. I need you to connect me to Google Chrome. Hello once again all. Today I have for you another story of true stupidity that I still think back to and wonder this guy had to be messing with me. The characters of the story are as follows. Me, the hero of this anime and palmer of face. User, probably voted most likely to forget to breathe in high school. This story happens well into my shift, and on this day the call volume was very light which was to be expected with the holiday, at the time, coming up. While I was relaxing, the phone happens to ring. I go though my usual script, get his employee ID and ask him what the problem is. Thing is, I don't think I was ready for the conversation that would ensue. Now before I go into the details of the call, I want to preface with the fact that an update came out company-wide that changed the home page for all devices. You'll learn why that's important later. Anyway on with the call. User so I need you to connect me to Microsoft Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Me, confused I'm sorry what? User, so I need you to connect me to Microsoft Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Me, alright, I'm going to need to remote into your computer I'm not following here. I get the necessary information to remote into his computer and have him show me the issue. He then proceeds to open Google Chrome. User, see this is what I'm talking about it's not opening Google Chrome at all. He's talking about the web page that I mentioned got changed earlier. Me, sir this is Google Chrome, I'm not sure what you're talking about. User, it used to open to Google Chrome not his. I finally understand what the user's issue is. Me, yes sir, so the home page changed after an update pushed out by IT. You're in Google Chrome now. If you want to go to a site you would just type the site in using the bar at the top. The user takes a minute to process what I told him. But the next thing out of his mouth is what had me questioning the call. User, so I can type a URL into the address bar to go any site that I need to? Me, confused yes. User, alright thanks for your help. He then disconnects the call leaving me in a state of confusion. I still think it was a user who was bored and decided to mess with the help desk, but I'll never know. I hope you all enjoy the story. Customer complaint about network speed. 
I work from a MSP and just a few days ago the Big Shot Director, BSD, of one of the companies we look after calls in with a complaint about the speed of the network in the office. So after a short conversation I discover BSD is undertaking the most fucky method of working I've ever come across in my few years in tech support. A bit of background. BSD has a PC in the office. Due to COVID guidance slash rules BSD has been working from home for the best part of two years. As they've been working from home BSD usually connects to their company using a VPN, then using RDP to connect to their PC at work and works off that. So these days BSD comes into the office a bit more, every couple of days perhaps. As BSD's been out of the office for quite a while staff within the office have requisitioned BSD's monitor for other uses, so BSD literally just has a tower PC. This is where we come. When coming into the office BSD connects to our, we're in the same building as BSD's company, guest Wi-Fi network with their MacBook. They then connect via VPN to their own office network, this is the office BSD is sat in, which not only has a guest Wi-Fi network, but their own dedicated company Wi-Fi. Now they're connected to the VPN via our network, they are DP to their tower PC, which sits underneath the desk BSD has their MacBook sat on. We only find out about this BS, because BSD complains that while working in the office the connection is really bad.